What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chef Smooth, back again with another video. Look, it's October, baby. It's time for stews and soups. And guess what? Beautiful chilies. So y'all hang tight. As October comes into a full swing, we get these cool events of weather. I can't think of nothing better to, to cook than some chili. Haven't had chili in a good while. Look, all my Texas people, y'all gonna crucify me probably. I don't give a shit. Look, we eat beans in our in our chili around here. Put beans. Beans in our chili. We, we put beans in our chili down here. Oh, so things you gonna need. I got some country style sausage, half a pound. I got half a pound of ground chuck, 80-20. And I got some bacon. Now that's a pound of bacon, we ain't gonna use all of it. We ain't gonna use all this bacon. But one red bell pepper, one yellow onion, jalapeno, red jalapeno, minced garlic, some hatch chilies, red kidney beans, one can of black beans, you know some rotel, some tomato paste, hot sauce, salt, brown sugar, dark if you got it. I might have to make this dark. Some cayenne pepper, some ground ancho chili, smoked paprika, black pepper, chili powder, and some ground cinnamon. We're gonna get this going. All right, we're gonna probably do about half a pound of this bacon here. That bench scraper. Take it over here. Spread it out. Using the Dutch oven here. I like to season my bacon. I don't know about y'all, but I like my bacon to have some seasoning on. Throw a little black pepper on there. Why not? Got some chupacabra. I mean, bacon good by itself. It's always got so something on it. Man. Just like that. Take a slotted spoon and transfer it over. All right, keeping your temperature on medium. Leave all that fawn that was down in there. All that good burnt stuff that's down in there. Leave that bacon grease. Throw that whole onion in there. Getting a little translucent. That red bell pepper up in there. Now remember, it don't matter. These gonna cook down and get a little bit of caramelization on them. And it's also gonna get that burnt that burnt bacon bits off the bottom of the pan. But this is gonna mainly just be for flavor. Now remember we got a red onion that we're gonna cut and dice up real fine towards the end. I know I like fresh red onion on top of my chicken, along with my melted cheese and everything else. So, like I said, keeping it on medium heat. Gonna cook them down, let them cook down real good. And after about, I don't know, probably three, three to five minutes, depending upon your stove, we'll throw that red bell pepper in there. We'll come back when I do that. All right, it's been about three minutes. Go ahead and throw them. The reason why I didn't throw them in there at the same time as the onion, is because I kind of want my bell pepper to have still a little bit of bite on it whenever everything's done cooking. And you don't have to use red, you can use green, it doesn't matter, man. But just let them cook down. Once you add the bell pepper, let it go for about another, probably another five minutes. Stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about five minutes, so look, I'm gonna make me a little, a little spot right here. And 
I'm gonna take me a heaping tablespoon of garlic and throw it right there. And once that garlic starts becoming fragrant, where you can smell it, then that's when you wanna mix it in, like about now. Once you get that incorporated pretty good, the next thing we're gonna do, throw a fork in first. You want it to be pretty, at least cook about halfway of the way down before you add your ground meat. And once that gets about halfway cooked, all right, so that took approximately about three minutes. Still see a little bit of pink in there, but that's fine because by the time the ground chuck gets done cooking, then you know the pork will be done. Throw that in there. Get that good and broke up and cooked. Now, once you can't see any more pink on your ground beef, that's when we're gonna add our seasoning. So once we get to that point, that's when I bring y'all back. All right, now from here, as you can see, we all, we're good and golden. Start adding some seasoning. Well, I got a tablespoon and a half. Light brown sugar. Going with a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon. Chili powder, regular chili powder. Heaping tablespoon of ancho chili powder. It ain't gotta be perfect. I mean, and a little more. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. Go ahead and mix that up real good. At this point, you can turn your heat down to a little bit lower. But you want to incorporate that pretty good. Like I said, these measurements is just a base. You should start with that and add whatever you want. You can add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, once we put our liquid and stuff in. All right, go ahead. We got some smoked paprika. We're gonna throw one and a half table. Let's just make that two tablespoons. Also gonna go to a tablespoon. Mix that up. Let that get good and coated. Man, it smell good too. All right, at this point, you don't have to add it. I'm gonna add about half a bottle of Budweiser. I'm gonna let that cook. Add a little bit more. You don't want it to taste like a brewery or nothing, but you want to cook that alcohol. Alcohol out of it. For sure. Before I forget, probably about a tablespoon of pepper. A good heaping pinch of salt. Got some cayenne here. Probably a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of cayenne. Mix that in there. Man, it's smelling good right here. All right, so at this point, 
we're going with about a cup and a half of beef broth. Turn that back up to medium. And we might add a little bit more to the beef broth, but you know, we'll see what's up. All right, about now is when I'm gonna add this ground cinnamon. I'll add about a teaspoon. Maybe half a teaspoon, not much. You just kind of want it to be back there in the background. So you don't want a real pronounced taste of cinnamon, but man, it just gives it that extra little, little something, something, you know? Some Lee Perez, Worcestershire sauce. Just a couple of little dashes. Same thing, you don't want to be tasting a bunch of Worcestershire sauce. Mix that up. So, I don't know what's going on with my camera, but anyway, uh, at this point you want to taste it, and I just did, thought that I was recording. You want to taste it, see if you need any more. I actually added a little bit more ground cumin and a little more smoked paprika, and I actually added the rest of that beer as well. And I'm going to turn it back up on medium and let it get to where it's uh, bubbling a little bit. Then I'm going to turn it down. Turn it down to low and put the lid on it and just let it do its thing. You at least want it to cook for at least 30, 45 minutes. So all them flavors can kind of meld into each other and then that's when it comes real good. Remember that bacon? Throw that bacon on it. And cook that bacon for nothing. Give it another little taste test, see what's up. Add a little bit more salt to it. Once I start seeing a little bit of bubbling, we'll put a lid on it. Alright, so once you start seeing that bubbling like that, give it a good stir. Make sure ain't nothing sticking on the bottom. Put your lid on. Turn it down to simmer. Wish for my stove. It's just a little bit past number one. All right, so now after about 30, 45 minutes, it's been about 45 minutes for me. Everything ought to be real good. Nice and melted together. Smells lovely. And you put what you want. I'm gonna go with a little bit of cheese. A little bit. Put a little dollop. Red onion. Paper thin. Jalapeno slices. Too. I'm gonna tell you something, all you need after that is a good beer and a spoon. Ain't nothing left to do but to taste. Get a little bit of everything here. The only thing I'm missing is some Fritos and corn chips. Other than that, man, that is perfect. I can't complain about none of it. Wash that down with a good cold little really light. If you want some more spice to it, because it's not real spicy, it's got a little bit of kick in the back of your soap. Put some more cayenne in there. Um, and you can cut you up some more fresh jalapeno, throw around it for some garnish, to give you a little bit more heat. Other than that, man, that's good. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all coming through and watching the video. Man, it, it do me a hell of a lot of good if y'all went ahead and like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Hey, I answer anybody who, who asks me any kind of questions. So y'all comment. Hey, y'all follow me on Instagram. But look, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all don't forget, stay in the kitchen, cook, 
fire you grill up, y'all stop being scared and get out there and do something, man. I'd like to see some pictures of y'all tag in some pictures. All right, man, one love.